Okay, hello everybody to the Just Make Drive cast. It is a bit of a special episode because this, uh, you know how last season I did the, the PogChamp episode and it ended up being very, very outdated, but it still ended up becoming kind of true. Uh, this is another one of those episodes where I record, well, I'm not recording while walking around, so this actually is a, is a drive cast because I am driving, I'm in the car, I don't know if it's if my phone is connected to Bluetooth and that's how I'm talking to you guys, and if that's the case, the sound is going to be very weird, but that's a later problem, okay? The main problem right now is the fact that um, I'm a little mad at YouTube. I'm a little, not furious, but I'm a little disappointed. So, TLDR, everyone has to pay taxes. Nobody likes taxes, right? Um, and, okay, sure, YouTube, I get it. I need to pay my taxes because, you know, everyone's got to pay their tax to become a citizen of the YouTube sphere. But the thing I don't get is that you couldn't have given us more time to get stuff done. So, TLDR, I'm a small channel with 3.9 thousand subscribers, and I'm also waiting for the rotary to finish. How many cars have to get home today? Um, oh, someone crashed. That's probably why the line is backed up a bit. But, um... You know, almost small channel, 3.9k subscribers, still bigger than Lucas somehow, you know, the actual really good Mario Kart player who plays in Mojis all the time. Um, we're not going to talk about that. I think I have less than a meal, but I don't want to talk about statistics. The other statistics that I do want to talk about is the fact that uh, if you become a Mi Minecraft, if you become a YouTube creator that has more than a thousand subscribers, you get access to YouTube Studio. Now, how can you use YouTube Studio? Well, here's the thing. Every a thousand, um, not every thousand, um, every hundred dollars that you earn in ad revenue, you get to take that and put it in your bank. That's how that's how YouTube works. That's just how it's been working since years ago, and that's the model that hasn't exactly been the most, you know, it hasn't exactly been the best for smaller YouTube channels like myself. But it's just how it works. You need to get big enough to take that money out. Now, a small YouTube channel like me. Um, we used to earn, what was it, $5 a month, and then we dropped down to basically nothing. And now we're back up to $5 a month. You, you're with me, right? Now, what if I told you that YouTube took away all of the money that I've been saving up for the last two-ish years, probably three. Actually, take that back, probably like four. Now, how would you feel? Precisely. I'm a little furious right now. It doesn't exactly, I, I mean, the emotion's kind of gone because... Uh, we've, um, Seashaw and I have already gone and deleted the AdSense account, and we've already reset everything. And we've already paid the tax that we're supposed to pay. Uh, we've read through the documents, we've read through the papers, all that is boring, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, we've actually read through all the necessary documents, and we figured out what the heck we're supposed to do. And that's where the disappointment sets in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, just a little, I'm just a little frustrated at the fact that I've been building my YouTube channel up for, what is it, three, four years now, and when we first started, I think we had $60 in the bank, and let me remind you, you need to get $100 just to take any of that money out. Um, we do have thousands of dollars in some bank in Korea because uh, the stupid park video decided to get popular, but the most important part is that, I don't, the most important part is that, uh, wow, I'm really forgetting things. The most important fart, fart, the most important fact is that because of this new tax thing, we actually, uh, and let me step back a bit, uh, because our bank is based in Korea, where the channel was originally set because of uh, details I don't want to get into, um, we had to pay our taxes from a bank in Korea. Now here's the problem. We don't have access to that bank, no matter what we do, because bank security in Korea is apparently really, 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 really tight. And because of that, um, we were kind of forced to be able uh, to reset all of our bank credentials. We had to get rid of the $80 that was in our AdSense account. We have to create a new bank. Uh, well, not create a new bank, but we have to link our AdSense to a new bank that Seashaw is going to have in Canada. He's going to figure out a way to pay me, auto pay me and all that. That's not the issue here. The issue is that we have $80 that we've just basically given to YouTube for free which has been about two and a half years worth of work. And sure, you can say that the that the community I've built over this time is more important. You can say that the um, the viewership that I've had over the, uh, over the last few months is more important. And yes, that is very crucial, but it also hurts to just get financially freaking, you know, hit like that. Just because, you know, YouTube decides, oh, hey, 
we're greedy and we want more money, which means we get to take all the small creators' money. And here's the thing, YouTube does not care about its creators, okay? And, and look, I've heard, I know that a bunch of people have said that before, and it's a little cliche to say it, but it is kind of true, especially the smaller creators. It's basically a, a caste system. YouTube's basically created its own caste system. Uh, there's the people that have at least 10 million views that are actually relevant. There's the people that have less than 10 million views that are relevant, but don't get that much attention from YouTube. And then there's the people with less than a million views uh, that have their small own communities. You know, those are the those are the little league players. And then there's people like me, which uh, which have less than even 100 100 thousand subscribers, which have even less than 10 thousand subscribers. And we're the ones that struggle the most because we're doing this for fun, and we're the ones that have to struggle. And we're the ones that have to basically break our own backs to even make even five dollars a month, which I'm just barely making now. And oh wait, I forgot to whatever. And the thing that infuriates me the most is the fact that because YouTube can feel like it, they can push us around and we won't be able to do anything. Because if we try to retaliate, the five dollars a month that we've been trying to build up and the community that we've been trying to build up, the small community we have, would be knocked down immediately. That would be completely obliterated i don't know a part of me is a little a little frustrated at that um look i'll be real with you i didn't exactly share the whole story because i don't have 10 minutes and let's see what, what time are we at right now probably like seven minutes yeah um this is supposed to be a special it's not really much of a special hopefully future me will take care of everything else that needs to be told but i will see you guys in like three seconds Alrighty, hello everyone. This is future chest bait, but not future editing chest bait. This is future recording chest bait. Woo, blood twist on the special, I don't know, special chest bait draft cast episode. Um, yeah, so I decided to ramble a little bit longer. Um, future me editing me, say hello. No. Very cool. Uh, is gonna be mixing and splicing all the audio needed anyways. So if I end up saying anything that repeats, it's probably gonna be cut out anyways. And I thought, hey, why not just ramble on for a little bit longer? Because, you know, it's kind of important to talk about how YouTube just wants to screw, over, screw people over. And, look, I'll be real with you guys. Like, I get the big channels are their own businesses. But I hate to go after them. But a lot of them, let's be real, don't really care. Because every, YouTube is basically the definition of an ecosystem. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. And everyone's looking out for themselves only. Also, if the wipers and the, the sound of the road is way too loud and it's way louder than usual, I apologize for that. I can't really do anything about it. And anyways, um, yeah, so the environment of YouTube is, I don't know. I don't exactly know how to describe it. It's toxic. It's really ferocious. But that's just how it is in the real life. You know, you just gotta... You know, in in society, ooh, we live in a society. Um, there's people lo that look out for you. You know, the reason it's called a society is because we are social. We are willing to help each other out. However, in the YouTube sphere, you gotta understand that <laughs> YouTube sphere. I can't take myself seriously whenever I say that. I always hear myself saying that when I'm editing too. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, in the YouTube sphere. Everybody's looking out for themselves, and sure, you can do a collab with someone else, but in the end, you can be friends with each other, but a lot of the times you're just doing collabs just so uh, people can check out each other's content, and that would promote um, that would promote people watching each other's videos. For example, a lot of the, a lot of the collabs um, involve, hey, you do one half of the video, and I'll do the other half, and uh, we'll just tell each other, hey, this is a two-part series, uh, you gotta watch this part, and you gotta watch this part. Yeah, all that is cool and all, but... I'm getting ahead of myself. YouTube drama, I've already talked about that stuff before. I literally just uploaded an episode about YouTube drama. Not this week, but I think last week, and why am I even getting into this? Never mind, it's next week. I can't, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, anyways. Yeah, the... I, I started recording to talk about the whole YouTube fiasco. What am I talking about here? I really don't like how YouTube is screwing people over just because, hey, we need to pay our taxes, but we're not going to tell you until it's way too late. And sure, we had a month in advance, or like two months in advance, but it doesn't matter for small YouTube channels that, you know, are trying to get to that $100 mark. I'm willing to bet that YouTube 
Okay, this is not actually true. Conspiracy theory, ooh. But I'm willing to bet that YouTube like purposely looked into the analytics or the average analytics of like small YouTubers and they looked at how much of the $100 gauge was filled. If you guys remember what I was talking about just uh, like 10 minutes ago. I'm willing to bet they looked at the average uh, gauge of, oh, how much money is in the bank for each creator. And because you can't take out unless if it's on $100, they waited until the average was about $90, and then that's when they pulled the plug. So the lucky people that was able to get $100, you know, the, the small creators that was able to get $100 every month were off just fine, but the bigger creators, not so much. Wait, sorry, the bigger creators were able to get off the hook, but the smaller creators, not so much. And especially the people like me, who had $80 in the bank, but now we lost all of it because if we didn't pay that, we would have, end up paying, what was it, like $300? And I don't exactly remember off the top of my head because back then when I talked about it, I did my research. Now I kind of just forgot. And it's the, it's the morning, guys. I'm not really a morning person. I'm sorry. But I don't know. I'm just a little disappointed by how YouTube handled this. I don't like how YouTube become bigger than itself. And as much as I hate to say it, like we need platforms like TikTok to knock YouTube down a peg because TikTok is getting, sure, they're, um, we can talk about the fact that they're um, stealing, they're quite literally stealing um, music industry's music and just people are producing content with all that music as if that music was their own. And I don't know, sure, mu stealing music is bad, but that's also coming from the guy who really hates music labels, so go TikTok, I guess. But my main problem with TikTok is just the fact that they steal other people's content for their own, which, let's be real, YouTube's been doing that for years with uh, reaction videos, Facebook's doing, been doing that for, with, for years with, well, just being Facebook, and, yeah, the reason I say that TikTok is a good thing is that YouTube really needs to be knocked down a peg, they just, they think that they have power over the, not just the entertainment industry, but also the, uh, just the video streaming industry as a whole it's the reason why i'm so glad that i'm starting to watch twitch again uh the fact that you know hey twitch is actually much bigger than it used to be before and sure it's owned by the evil conglomerate that is it is owned by the evil conglomerate that is amazon but at the same time we need other we need other streaming sites that prove that YouTube isn't the only one that holds all the power. We need some other other websites, other industries that are willing to stand up to YouTube. Which, I don't know, it feels kind of sad that that's, all you, that's just what we're left with. The fact that, oh, because YouTube has all this power, um, if they screw over small creators, then we can't really do anything about it. At least with TikTok, um, like even if you're... Um, I'll be real too, like, I don't know too much about TikTok, I've never owned TikTok, I don't, I've just seen people's TikToks before, and never actually owned the app, so, this is, I'm kind of just talking on my own butt here, but, my point is that, the reason I enjoyed, let me, stand, let's take a few steps back, the thing about TikTok is that if you don't do well one, one day, then you can just make a sketch the next day. TikTok in its early days is really similar to YouTube because they, both of them had sketches in their early years. TikTok in its early years, or I guess now, uh, did all those sketches involving, oh, this person, okay, what the heck is that driver doing? Um, they had a bunch of sketches where, oh, this person does funny thing, oh, this person is funny, haha, <laughs> and YouTube did the exact same things with, um, with Nigahiga sketches, with... Uh, I don't know, Jack's films? I don't, I don't know who you guys watch nowadays, Forehead Man. But a lot of the early YouTube creators, I don't know, Jenna Marbles, um, Spraybloom Johnson's, I don't freaking know, Smosh. Smosh is a perfect example. They had really simple sketches, and that's how they got big, and that's what TikTok is doing. Sure, TikTok challenges, TikTok cringe, haha, all of that still exists, but besides all that, the early states of TikTok and YouTube aren't all that different, and that's why I appreciate TikTok. It, I'm pretty sure it supports its smaller creators a lot more than YouTube supports their smaller creators because they don't have time to look at the small creators when uh, they gotta fix the problem that they have with this YouTuber or this YouTuber. Oh, this video got flagged for no reason? Oh well. Uh, the AI accidentally um, flagged this video even though they promote this video. Whoops, we can't do anything about that. And let's be real, YouTube secretly doesn't care. Like, they do care. 
but they don't really care. Because as long as it doesn't hurt their bottom line, they're not really going to do much about it. And sure, you can demonetize this video and get rid of my channel all you want, YouTube. I'm, that's still not going to change my perspective and all of my audience's perspective on you. I'm going to be completely transparent here. You guys do not care, unless if it hurts your money. Or, or your reputation. Actually, I take it back. You guys already have a bad enough reputation. Um, you guys don't care unless if you're genuinely about to get cancelled over something. Um, I watch some ordinary gamers. Uh, I explained that. No, I didn't. Why am I getting ahead of myself? But I, I probably have explained that before, but... Um, what is videos... Uh, recent videos got flagged. Not flagged. Um, I think you have to delete it, actually, because he got a YouTube community guideline strike. And he got rid of it. But then he's really salty, and not salty, but he's disappointed over YouTube still promoting all of the uh, all of the videos that Mudahar was trying to tell people, hey, don't watch these, these are scams. If so if somebody's promoting scams, you're just fine. But if somebody's telling other people not to fall for these scams, that's bad. You know, in the words of that one um, Star Wars character that I can't remember, that's total poodoo. I don't like it. I don't know, like... I don't, I just don't think that YouTube's gonna treat their YouTubers fairly, ever, like, ever, like, like, like ever, ever. I don't know. Like, I do this thing for fun, but I also want it to become big enough to where it actually becomes what I do for a living. Because I'm still, I'm in between generations. I was, I was born, I was born, huh. um, like, because I'm born between the YouTube and uh, YouTube and TikTok generations, I'm kind of in the middle where, oh, everyone at my age wanted to be a YouTube star, but now that TikTok is big, so many people want to become big TikTokers, or Twitch streamers, or, you know, literally any kind of media producer, and sure, I'll admit that I'm not as good as a lot of people, but I still do my best, <laughs> and like I've been, I've been trying to go away from the, the generic stuff that I've been doing all the time, just so I wouldn't have to. Just so my YouTube doesn't become stale. The whole reason why I'm doing Road to Nines, sorry, the, the whole reason I stopped doing Road to Nines as often, is because, oh, you know, if you do Road to Nines all uh, all the time, it just kind of get, kind of gets boring. It's the same reason to why I stopped doing. Um, it's the same reason to why I stopped doing. Uh, what's it called? Oh god, what is it called? It's the same reason why, um... All of my... All of my Let's Plays that I do outside of Mario Kart are now more specific. Oh! You know, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is gonna be like an actual how-to, but it's, you know, it's gonna be a Let's Play, but it's gonna be a little more formatted. It's gonna be... It's gonna look better. I don't know. The... I try to make myself more presentable, and I improve things so much, and yet YouTube doesn't appreciate it. But sure, they'll give me more, a bigger audience, and I appreciate all of you that are watching, but at the same time, they don't care? I'll be real with you guys. Like, sure, I thank YouTube that they, like, tripled, quadrupled my audience within the last year or so, but also, it'd be really nice if you, you know, actually let me have my money, and uh, I get that YouTube has to pay tax because... It is a company, but you could have at least, you know, told us, like, last year. Maybe then I could have, I don't know, bought some bots to give me extra views, and then I could have just taken out that $80 for a small profit or something. I don't know, YouTube. It's just a bit shady what, what you've been up to, and I don't know. Personally, I really would have hoped that you didn't do what a lot of what you did, but not like I can do much anymore. Anyways, if you like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Maybe a future me wants to interject and add a bunch of things that I didn't have in my mind. Um, I'm pretty sure he interjected enough times, but uh, future recording chestbait is out. Hopefully future editing chestbait and past chestbait are out as well. This is all getting confusing. I'll see you guys next time for another episode of the Chestbait Drivecast on next Tuesday. See you guys then. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear the Mario Kart in the background. I don't mean the Mario Kart um, that's being shown right now. I'm at the Mario Kart that I'm playing on TV at the moment. But um, all in all, um, I really don't have anything to add. I mean, I've already said most of what I've had to say. I'm kind of sorry that I went on a wild tangent about um, 
YouTube and TikTok. I didn't mean for the conversation to go like that, but I mean, as always, the YouTube drivecast or chess based drivecast always end up like that. Um, and besides that, I mean, like I said, there's a bunch of reasons that other people have already gone over why YouTube doesn't care about its creators as much as a lot of other platforms, but not like there's much to compare to. YouTube is so big of a juggernaut that it's kind of impossible to compare to anyone else. And I just feel, I don't, I don't know, like I feel good that TikTok is finally starting to stand up and is able to compete with YouTube on some small of a scale. You know, it's shaking up the industry. It isn't impacting YouTube too much, but it's impacting little things here and there. Anyways, I think is out, uh, like all the other past me said. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday for another episode of the Chessbane Drivecast. See you guys then.